just the empirical facts, like what we're talking about here today. I mean, you had that guy, right. Bob Bear. He he wouldn't – I mean, he got on Alex Jones' show and started – this was like a year and a half ago or something. And, he, you know, Alex Jones was excited because he was, he, I mean, seeming to hint that 9-11 might be an inside job. He didn't go all out and say it. He kind of beat it around the bush. And then he starts talking on Alex Jones' show about how Iran wants to invade everybody and they're the bad guy. I'm like, what? This is just Fox <laughs> News all over. And I'm listening to my boy Alex Jones here. So yeah. that, that, it's just amazing. And he's, of course, ex-CIA. <laughs> really, he's still part of him. Hmm. Fascinating. Now, I saw something on YouTube probably about six months or six or nine months ago, and this is the Obama reverse speech. And if if people go to YouTube, they can see Obama saying, yes, we can. And then allegedly when you play it backwards, it's it's something else. And I'll let you uh, reveal well, that. Have, have you but, seen the video that I've made about that? Yeah. And I was going to say, I, I was a little bit skeptical However, I just saw your DVD, and you you go into detail and actually record that yourself. And I want you to to talk about your findings. But it's amazing, it, and and I want to ask you why that is working in that way. You know, as we get into this, but go ahead and tell us about this. Yes, we can. Uh, you know, this this uh, sort of a diatribe uh, part of his speech. Uh, that people are repeating, yes, we can. What is it about this when you do it in reverse? What does it say, and what are your findings? Is this authentic? Yeah, it's authentic. This is a huge issue. I had three entire shows on my radio show to try to explore, actually, sorry, four, to try to explore hmm. this issue to get really to the bottom of it carefully. When you, you just said, yes, we can, Bruce, and right. so did I. If anybody takes that and plays it backwards, it will say, thank you, Satan. The words, yes, we can, backwards, are thank you, Satan. I just said it again. And if you say, thank you, Satan, play it backwards, it'll say, yes, we can. So the And now there's all kinds of bits of language that do this. If you play them um, in reverse, they turn into... Uh, uh, you know, other sentences in reverse. Now, the po the thing that got me is of all the different campaign slogans Obama could have chosen, two things. One, why did he choose that? And two, why do those words so conveniently specifically lead to, in reverse, thank you, Satan? Now, if anybody doubts this is true, all you need to do is look at your computer. If you're on a uh, non-Mac, on an IBM, and look, uh, you know, a uh, Microsoft-based computer, I'm looking at mine right now. In the bottom left corner is a green start button. Hit that and go to programs or all programs and find the sound recorder. I think it's in uh, accessories or entertainment or something like that. Go find it. Hit record and say into your microphone or wherever you're there, there's going to be some place in your computer. There's a mic or a recording sound recording device. Go find it and talk into it and say, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And then go to the effects part of the sound recorder and hit reverse and hit play. <laughs> it will say, thank you, Satan. Thank you, Satan. Thank you, Satan. So the now this is part of a much deeper issue. Very, very huge issue that it appears that. Well, I don't know how much you want me to go into this. It took me four hours on my show to, to get into this. But let me just tell you the basic findings. I mean, for point one, reverse speech is not a joke. It's real. And I and the first show in the series I did this on my show. I'm not trying to give a commercial for my show. I'm just trying to be careful. No, no. To show that, that I've and given that's fine. And so forth. Yeah, the um, – you can establish empirically as a science that reverse speech is real. You can go record people. You can go find examples on YouTube of people uh, where, you know, there's all kinds of stuff on YouTube, reverse speech. Just go find examples of people doing it and then go talk into your voice recorder mimicking them. And you'll see that with the, huh. if you have to talk just like them, certain idiosyncratic ways and so forth, they speak in reverse. It, it, kids do this it's just the most unbelievable phenomenon and basically what i've deduced on my show is it just means that our forward speaking language is not our i mean it took me a long time to philosophically and scientifically get to this point but our forward speaking language is not the real us okay that has to do with our personality which is a sort of controlled aspect of who we are and the real us is actually could have originally spoken reverse. There's a lot of different authors like Walter Cruttenden who wrote that book, really good book, Lost Star. Actually, he'd be a good guest for your show, Bruce, if you're, if you're uh, curious. <laughs> he might not go quite as far as you go and stuff. But anyways, but he finds, you know, he discusses how in the past humans were much more advanced. We've got all these monuments, pyramids and Baalbek Temple in Lebanon and all this stuff, you know, ancient astronauts, evidence for ancient astronauts. I mean, clearly we were much, much more advanced than we are now. And it's very, I mean, so we've got empirical evidence that that's the 
case. Of course, the academics ignore it. But now what I further add on to that is that it's possible during that time when we were much more advanced, which is written about in the Bible and so forth, we actually may have, our forward language may not have been what we use. It may have been that we use no language or we use a reverse speech, which is still in us, somehow locked away in us, and we can't access it through our our consciousness. And you, if you if you look inside yourself with your mind's eye and look at your feelings and thoughts, you can't find this. But it's you can empirically verify it's in you. This reverse speech is still it's been preserved or something from person to person through time. Maybe it's in our DNA or something. Just extraordinary issue. The point is, is if you doubt this, it's <laughs> doubt it all you want. It's empirically verifiable. You can just go do the experiments for yourself. I did them on my show. So there's something absolutely huge locked away in human consciousness which is revealed through reverse speech and it's i I mean i just conclude on my show through a whole bunch of examples that it's being used against humans to attack humans i mean a lot of the things we say forward may be incantations and and certain kinds of things that are are hurting us that we don't know because people don't know the power of language the power of words it's absolutely extraordinary I mean, it says in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word. And, you know, Len Horowitz, that wonderful researcher, discusses, you know, cymatics and sound therapy and, and all the sound science and so forth. The real aspect of what is at the most basic level of the universe appears to be something acoustic, something to do with sound and vibration, as Buddhists have talked about for thousands of years. And it appears that this is being used against us in extraordinary ways. And I hope I'm making sense. I'm really going fast over a huge topic, well, but I hope I'm making so- sense. So, so are you saying that he, that perhaps he doesn't know what he's saying in reverse, or is do you believe this is intentional? Well, that you, to answer that question, you have to ask the further question: What is this thing we call Obama? Now, I don't even call him a person anymore. I'm so stupefied by whatever Obama is. You I mean he could be a mind control agent? He could be a clone? He could be right. just simply someone who's uh, brainwashed? He could just be some grumpy old person who wants to work for the bad guys like like I think that's what Bush was you know who knows but it depends so it, whatever he is determines the answer to the question you just gave if he's um I mean my theory is I think he's you know he's some sort of I don't know <laughs> highly genetically engineered entity of some sort some kind of thing and if that's the case then he doesn't know what he's doing he's just sort of a channel or uh, another theory is that he could be a possessed entity I know a lot of people are holding that. I mean, so the point is, is, you know, we're guessing here. When you guess, that's because you have evidence problems. You don't have evidence to point to something. So I have to, you know, so I just listed five possibilities. So, but the, right. what we do know is there's something very mysterious about this person and the whole yes, we can thing. He, he's tricking people. He tricked whole crowds. You can listen to the video that I made on YouTube and others have made similar videos on YouTube. Just go look up Yes We Can Backwards. Type that into YouTube and you see all these great videos. I'll probably show up on the first page there too, but there's other good ones too. And you can hear a whole crowds, little channel saying Yes We Can, then you play backwards and they're saying Thank You Satan. So our more genuine aspect of ourself, our real self, which is the reverse, is is somehow emanated in the reverse speech aspect of ourself. It's an amazing phenomenon right there. That is mm-hmm. being tricked into saying an incantation thank you Satan now what does that mean if sound is such a powerful aspect of our cosmos what does it mean that we're all you know people by the thousands are sitting here chanting thank you Satan thank you Satan it's just there's something really powerful really big going on here a lot of keys to our existence that we've been discussing here over the last 10 minutes that everybody just needs to drop everything and just study this and figure this out we need to figure out who we are where we come from who's tampered with us genetically genetically modified us and what's going on and what our stake is in the future hmm. Now, as a young person, you you go through education being taught certain things and not really thinking outside of the box. So tell us, how is education used by the Illuminati and how how do we change what they're teaching in schools today? Oh, okay. The education system is specifically there to teach you everything that is not real. In my new book, The Telescreen, I, well, I actually go through it in both books, Corporatism and The Telescreen. I specifically go through this in meticulous and painstaking detail. I mean, and people will go for this. I mean, you can, you can get in a university and tell people, you can get a geology professor up there in the front of the room and say, we live in a world where these big plates of earth are floating around and smashing into each other. And people People will believe this. Now, why is this so strange? Is because if I just raised my, if I was sitting in the class and I just said, Professor, can you please point to this phenomenon for me? I need to see this because if it's science, I need to see it. Because if it's not science and I, if, if I can't see it, it's not science, it's philosophy. 
and if I say that, this professor will not be able to point to anything. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll say, or he or she will say, this, the plate you're standing on is moving at, you know, a millimeter or three a year, or, or maybe, you know, 10 millimeters a year. And I'll say, wait a minute, that's invisible. That's, I mean, but people will go and believe this junk. And, and if you study all the universe. 